so I got this brake caliper here. It was uh, OSF 550 that I changed. I tried to compress the pistons in and they would go in, but there was like a quarter of an inch that it just wasn't going in. So I couldn't actually get the pads in. So um, it would compress a little bit. You could you can kind of force it in and then it would squish back out a little bit. So I figured this is going back for core. So I thought I'll take the pistons out and I'll see what's in there and I'll try to see why it wasn't compressing and uh, just kind of like a little bit of research for the future. Uh, I don't, I haven't rebuilt these before and for the price of just replacing them, uh, if you ask me, it's not particularly worth the risk of rebuilding it because then you kind of own it if you do, but I'd just like to see why uh, this caliper isn't compressing all the way because it compressed easily right up until about that last quarter of an inch and then it just it stopped. So kind of want to pull it apart and see if I can't figure out why it wasn't compressing. So generally you can take a rubber tip blow nozzle and just kind of stick it in where the, uh, the banjo bolt is and just add compressed air to it and it will blow these caps out. Because you want to put like a rag or something in here to kind of keep them from going flying and uh, try to keep the fluid from blowing all over the place too. But I don't have a rubber tipped blow nozzle, so I'm just going to try to use some pliers to pull them out to see if that works. Probably won't. Can't even get him to turn. This one will. Let's see if maybe I can get this to work. Bam! That guy came right out, huh? That was the one that was stuck, too. I would have thought this guy would have come out. So. It would appear like it was just kind of corrosion in there. Right around this here. Kind of weird. I thought these were felonic. I guess they can kind of corrode. Is a metal. Let's see. I guess they're they're like plastic there, and they're steel on the tip. So, huh? I'm making a glare.
I don't know if it's a, I don't think this is corroding. I wonder if it just got kind of impregnated in it from that, the bore. Maybe it kind of rusted next to it and kind of just got bore, impregnated in there. I don't think I would recommend doing this and then putting it back in there because it's probably going to leak there. See, I figured that that bow was going to be all rusty and then rusted down inside. I figured it was going to be all rusted inside there. And uh, and that's why it wasn't returning all the way. There's a part of a chunk of rust in there, but I guess it is not the case. It's actually really, really clean in there. You get like some something something on this uh, rubber o-ring that rubber o-ring goes in here obviously seals that Looks like there's like a metal piece of metal inside the seal like it's driven in to hold it in place. I mean this isn't how to rebuild a caliper. This is just me taking it apart and looking inside. kind of wondering how difficult it is to actually repair one if I ever had to. Just want to make sure there ain't no dirt in there like I got in there. Dang it. A lot easier to get that on. This thing wasn't slippery.
going in now. So it looks like that's what the problem was. Just that uh, corrosion that was kind of impregnated into this, uh, the phalonic plastic part of it. Because this, uh, that's about as far in as it was going before. So you see it's about a quarter inch difference. So you can see. See how this one is going in, but it's it stops and then it comes back out. So basically what that probably is, is the crap on that piston catching that rubber O-ring that's in there and uh, kind of squishing it back and forth. And that's just where it's getting stuck. So I guess it ain't rocket science to rebuild them. You just you know change that O-ring and then the seal and put a, I wouldn't, I wouldn't clean that up with sandpaper or anything because you're probably gonna get a leak. It's gonna have to be perfectly smooth, so I don't really think you can probably clean that up without it leaking. So you definitely want a new piston if you're gonna try to rebuild it and make sure there's nothing inside that groove where that O-ring is. And make sure it's all clean. So if you got corrosion in there where that O-ring's sitting, the, the fluid might just come right around it and out. So, I mean, basically for the price of it, I don't think it's really worth rebuilding. I would just kind of get a remand one because I think this was 50 bucks and then you're going to have to buy the stuff and then the time to do it. It's to be, to be honest, the liability of it really it wouldn't be something I'd be interested in, but I mean, it's just kind of neat to kind of look at, I guess if you had to do it for yourself or, or whatever, sometimes you have to do what you got to do, but so anyway, I kind of thought that was a little interesting. So Hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.